Achilles tendon points. Now, these are some of the master dung points. And because we're discussing these fascial lines and the way that the fascia plays a role in the effects of acupuncture, it's really important to study the master dung points because they demonstrate very clearly the role of the connective tissue and the fascia in the way that acupuncture works on that structural fascial level. Now, with these points, these are fabulous groups of points to use for treating neck pain and occipital headaches, as well as brain disorders and spinal problems, because they're right on the Achilles tendon, so they're going to produce a really strong myofascial result, and the results of that are going to produce benefits in the opposite end of the meridian in the area of the head and the neck. So we've got these points then affecting the region on the opposite end of the meridian and this also corresponds with our imaging where we image the long bones and the ankles and the wrists to the neck. So the distal end of the long bones is connecting to the neck and the hands and the feet are imaging the head. So here we see this example of imaging playing out in the way that these points work in the area of the back of the neck. Now this image here, it shows a lot of the little muscles. So on top of these muscles we'll have the trapezius and that's on a different line understand that the trapezius is not on the superficial back line and the superficial back line includes a lot of these little muscles in the neck so you can see in the image there that it's able to get to these deep levels. Now let's talk about the location of these points. So the first point 77.01 is located directly in the tendon and between UB60 and kidney 3 and then the second point, 77.02, is two sun above that. And then the third point is two sun above that. And then the fourth point is two and a half sun above the third point. So we go right into the tendon when we needle these points. And if you haven't needled them before, that seems strange. And I remember when I first learned these, I was kind of afraid to needle into the tendon because I thought I might hurt someone or it might hurt them or... You know, I was a little concerned about that at first, but after needling these points on many, many clients over close to uh, about 16 years now, like I've never had an adverse reaction, and a lot of people don't um, feel these points that strong. Like I've needled these points on children, and they don't even notice it hardly, and they're okay with it. So these points are not so sensitive as you might initially think they are. So... These points then, the indications are that they treat neck and back and spinal pain. You can use them for pain really anywhere in the spine. I tend to use them more for neck pain and occipital headaches and upper, upper back pain to some degree. They're not my first uh, selection of points for upper back or spinal pain. And I tend to use these points later if for that. And, and they are very effective for that, but I just prefer to start with other points first that reach more of the superficial levels. But if I know a condition is very deep, like within the spine or if it's within the bones, then I will do these points fairly early in the treatment. Um, so it helps to really understand the different levels that the points are working at. And this is something that we're going to speak of in a number of different occasions in this class. So at the most superficial level in the area of the neck, we have the trapezius and that's actually on one of the arm lines. So when I treat neck pain, what I'll typically do is I'll start by clearing out the most superficial channels. So I'll do the points that benefit the trapezius to get those superficial levels cleared out. And then because these points work on a, a deeper level within the neck itself, then I may save these for later in the treatment or, or for another 
treatment down the road, depending on how the client responds. But these are really good points to know about 